Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we will be installing a GPU into a HP DL380P Generation 8. Should be very simple and straightforward. So let's get onto it right now. So the first thing you're gonna need is the HP GPU bracket, PCI bracket. Is the part number. This is required as uh, in the standard server, the PCI slot, the X16 slot is at the top, so it only allows to you to install a single slot GPU, whereas this rise allows you to install a dual, uh, dual slot GPU. So this is required. We will be installing a Tesla P100 GPU. This is passive cool. Also required is the cable which connects to the PCI slot. So uh, the PCI slot provides 70 by 75 watts of power and the cable will provide 225 watts of power, maximum of 300 watt. It's the part number. First thing we're going to do is open the cage and take the bracket out. There's a screw here and a screw along here as well. So we get this open. For this we're going to need one of these uh, T15s. That comes out like that. So as you can see, this is two X16 slots. This is the GPU riser. Part number. I'm gonna have to open these as well to slot the GPU. Should slot straight in. Just like that. So this bottom bracket that we've just recently took off would be the support. So this is quite a heavy GPU. Next we're gonna add the power cable. We're going to refit this back on now. So guys, I've refitted the bracket back onto the GPU. It's quite a fiddly task, so I did it off camera. So, screws are back in now. You can see GPU. Next step would be to install this bracket into the server. So guys, now we're going to install the bracket. To do that, we do this.
This is the current, this is the PCI riser that comes as standard. As you can see, the X16 stock is on the top, so only single GPU, single slot GPU can fit at the top. Hence, we need this bracket. I'm going to plug in the GPU cable now. this slot in here like so this so we can tighten it So guys, we've just tidied up the power power management going to the GPU. Also, as this is a, this Tesla P100 is passively cooled, there's an internal USB slot, and we happen to have this USB turbo fan. And we just took this this bracket off from here. We plan to just stick this in here for extra cooling. We'll uh, we'll make a bracket for this. Get the cable sorted out and power it on, and show you. So guys, you've got the server powered on, as you can see, everything looks happy, it's our makeshift cooler, turbo, uh, there's a green indication light inside the PCI slot, I'll show you. Uh, since we didn't have the Windows installation media, we did have the Ubuntu 18. So we have Ubuntu installed on this now. Uh, there's no internet connection right now, so the next step would be to install the drivers, the Linux drivers. Hopefully that will be in a follow-up video. Just close the seems to be working fine. And it closes perfectly, isn't it? Thank you very much, guys.